If you're an old school video editor and you just upgraded to the latest Premiere Pro, you're probably going to run into the same problem that I did when looking for the garbage mat. It simply vanished from the effects panel altogether. Now, for those of you who don't know what the garbage mat is, it's a simple and effective tool for creating masks over your video footage. Premiere Pro, like most other popular video apps such as Final Cut, have offered four, eight and 16 point garbage mats for as long as I can remember. So much so that the trusty old garbage mat has become the go-to tool for masking for most editors. So you're probably wondering how Adobe could have deprecated such a standard effect. Well, what they've done is replaced it with a new mask tool that is easier to access from directly within the opacity effect window. So to show you how to use it, I'm going to mask this footage and then apply a blue screen filter just for a bit of fun. Step one is to select the opacity tool in the default effects in the left-hand panel. If you don't have left and right hand windows, then select the windows menu and select editing layout to go into the default editor mode. Then once again, click the effects tab and get back into the opacity effect by clicking the little arrow that appears on the left. If you choose either a circle or square, you'll notice that the mask shapes appear in the right hand sequence window and you can then select them to make further edits, stretch them, make them larger and even add points on the curve to distort the mask shape to suit your needs. You can even select a free Bezier tool by clicking an icon that resembles a pen. Once selected, go to the right hand window and again outline the area that you want to mask directly on the footage. So as you can see, these are much more flexible and easier to use than the old garbage mat tool. So it kind of makes sense why Adobe have done away with this in favor of this brand new method. Now, just to finish off and for a bit of fun, I'm now going to apply a blue key filter over my footage to knock out the background altogether. So to do this, I'll need to find the effects in the extended effects tab, which can be found at the top or in the tabs in my project media browser window. To find the effect that I want, I'll type key into the search field and then drag the color key into the window above being the footage window. Okay, so now to key out the rest of my blue background, I'll grab the color sample tool and select some of the blue background that's closest to the subject. Then gradually lift the color tolerance up and you'll notice that the blue is beginning to be knocked out. I can then adjust the edge thin and edge feather to refine the key and that's it. It's pretty much ready to go. So there you have it, no more garbage mats instead an updated tool that is better placed right in the default effects pane that is not only easier to access, but more flexible than the old garbage mats. I hope this brief tutorial was helpful. You've been watching another Touch Technology Review video. Feel free to comment in the box below if you have any questions about what I've just demonstrated. And if you want to receive notifications of up and coming releases, subscribe to the channel below.